rock stars, starting a business, finding the money, what you need to know to become a rock star entrepreneur. It's Kevin Rakowski, Business Rockstars. I'm with Scott Page. Scott, I always like to start off with a quote. I'm going to ask you for one no, right now. Don't do it. Come don't on, do you it. don't have a quote I don't at all. Have quotes. I'm not a quote person. ever. You don't have. You need some now because you I, are running a company I, I, called Ignited Artists, yep. and you need to ignite them through inspirational quotes periodically. You don't yep. have any of them. How about "Excuse oh. me, why I kiss the sky"? How's that? Okay, that's hey, a good uh, one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Jimmy Hendrix, baby. I'm hoping you were to say that. <laughs> Every single week, Scott joins us, yep. and he is our rock star mentor. He's been in bands like Pink Floyd and Supertramp, mm -hmm. but he's also been in publicly traded companies that raced all the way up to the top, like Seventh Level, which he yep. created. Uh, so you are an entrepreneur and a rock star at the same time. I love this. It's, it's an honor to have you hang <laughs> Thank out. Thank you very much. I love, like I always say, I'm so thankful to be here. I'm thankful for you, Ken, because this is a cool show mostly i love the people you have around this we got a lot and of interesting people By very the way, interesting are people. you sore from sunday oh man, dude you almost killed me <laughs> okay he, he, you know we do this ken does these hikes on sunday and it was just a little hike and i'll never forget the thing was we got up to the rock skull rock we got up to the top i thought oh i was killing me to get there and then when we got off of that we had to keep going up but you realize died. the purpose behind this and this is going to apply to the artist too yeah it's about community having a community that interacts together builds a foundation for whatever the top line message is to move forward. Absolutely. Every artist has to make sure their community is doing things together. It only promotes and helps the artist out. Yeah, and that's the beauty of that is this is something that's that's we never had before in the old days because you know when we were making records, it was always the record company had any you know kind of relationship. We didn't have that relationship in the same way. The Dead was the kind of the first one that basically started really thinking about the community, right? But the reason why and is we didn't have email. That's right. Sending a letter would take several days, yep. I mean, or we had to make phone calls. Mm -hmm. Today, an artist, a business, if they're not exercising their community, they're missing out on opportunity. No, absolutely. Right. So tell me, you have, we have our protege in today, a very unique one today. Yes, mm -hmm. excellent. This is actually a very unique story, and I love that when we have a great story, and as an artist, it obviously well, helps propel. What is your name? Siobhan Stoddard. Hi, Siobhan. Hello. So I gotta make sure I understand. Uh, initially, you grew up in Jamaica. Yes. Then you moved to, wait, let me get it right, North Carolina? New York. Oh, New York. Then yeah. Carolina, right? Yes, South Carolina. And now you're over here. Yes. Wow. A lot <laughs> of running around. Well, that would make sense because you're an Olympiad as well as an artist. Yes. Wow. Yeah, amazing. So and so, how many times, you've already been in the Olympics, correct? Yes, twice. Twice. Wow. <laughs> how many times have you been in the Olympics? Nine. Nine. <laughs> I've watched it. And what, what do you uh, compete in? I run the 400 hurdles. 400 hurdles. Yes. So you're just in, in insane shape. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the confidence. See the confidence? Yeah. So you're in great shape. Yeah. Are you a great artist? Yes. Wow, I love that. Yep. There's confidence right there. Yep. What makes a great artist? I would say, you know, hard work, dedication, and just kind of loving what you do. I think the first one's first, right? The last one's first. Loving what you're going to do because yeah. then that leads to everything else. Do you yeah. agree with me on that? Yes. What kind of music do you do? I do pop music. Pop music. Yes. So Scott and I are going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. Okay. We're here to help you out. Yes. Okay. And any point in time you don't understand something, let us know. Or if you want us to dive a little deeper in that, we can. You <laughs> okay. up for it? Yes. Mr. Yeah. Scott Page, you have okay, the first so question. First question is, tell me, obviously you've got the, the Olympics are coming up again. You're going to be in again, correct? Yes. And now you, you're also launching your music career. So from a strategy point of view, give us a little insight on what you're doing. How are you thinking about approaching this? Because you've got two wonderful stories that can be very <laughs> compelling, that can really help you build your business. Yes, um, definitely. Uh, just moving into this year um, as a runner and a singer, it's really exciting because not only am I going to light up the other track, but I'm looking forward to lighting up the other track as well as, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, being on the track as an artist. So mm -hmm. um, right now, one of my uh, main sponsors um, when it comes to athletic apparel is Puma. I've been with them for eight years now. So with going out for the Olympics, you know, there's there's a lot of things that I need as an athlete in my preparation. <laughs> Make sure that um, I am physically fit and I have the best of the best. But people don't realize being yeah. an athlete, being in, in the Olympics, you're not getting paid. No. No, this no. is all you. Yeah. This is your passion and you have to somehow fund that. Yes. So now you have two passions. You have dueling passions and you really do. Yes. Being an artist, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, and then you have this athlete side. 
it's really tough to surf two types of directions like that. Yeah. It really is. So I hate to say it, one generally suffers. Unless, I would say, you're right, you're 100% okay. right. What I would do is, the mind is music, Puma, think these together. I don't know how, and I was going to ask that. Mm -hmm. Do you see Puma becoming part of your music side? Well, Puma is very big in um, music, so mm -hmm. yeah, Puma actually has a lot of music events as well, and I've performed at different events for Has Puma uh, sponsored Puma. you on the music side? No, but they support me as my sponsor, so when they do have music events, I come on and... How I would go to Puma with a with a product idea where you could basically okay, get maybe, on Maybe not Puma. Well, maybe not, but... I probably a better type Could of partner be. because they see the extreme side you're an extremist yeah sorry to say that yeah <laughs> no, but you are you're doing things that are extreme okay yeah red bull or a partner like that loves extreme they actually yes. have a side a guy named andy walsh is a friend of mine who runs the extreme side of red bull yeah that's all he does and yeah. they love artists okay. you know that right yes mm -hmm. they sponsor <laughs> concerts they sponsor people that are doing athletic stuff if there's a you would you would be the first yeah. Combination of both. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they would get really excited about that. Yeah, I believe yeah. so too. All right. Excellent. Just yeah. an idea, right? Yeah. Tell us real quick about um, who are your fans? Who gets excited about you? <laughs> I, uh, my fans, I definitely would say, you know, because I'm an international athlete, I have fans all around the world, you know, in Jamaica and, you know, just young kids that are, you know, looking up to uh, people that are doing great things. Well, let me give you an example. And I hate to use Tinder mm -hmm. as an example, but I am. Yes. When Sean Rad created Tinder, he yes. sat back and said, what are other sites out there that would compete against us or be like us? You know, it's a match.com. And he literally created this connection point where Tinder had all these lines of connection, meaning he knew where he was going to grab his audience from by siphoning mm -hmm. other websites and other applications. Okay. Okay. When I ask who your fan is, what yeah. other music do they listen to? Yeah. What other activities are they doing? Describe your fan to us. My fan, I would say, is someone that one of is uh, is fit. <laughs> because fit? me from the athletic world, they probably love sports. They probably love someone that is, um, you know, I would say fit and aggressive. You know, an Olympic athlete, <laughs> especially one from their country, Jamaica. And, you know, a Gamecock because I went to the University of South Carolina. So I would definitely say, you know, my fan would most likely be a sports fan as well as um, Is that music. what you want? Is that what you want? Do you understand what I'm no, saying? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, there's, listen, the most important thing you can do is understand who your fan is. Yes. You want to get into their head and You understand. need to understand your fan, mm -hmm. not you want a certain fan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we do this? First, Absolutely. what's your website people want to find you? Where do they go? SiobhanStoddard.com. Can you spell that? Yes, that's S-H-E-V-O-N-S-T-O-D-D-A-R-T. We have some of music com. playing in the background right now. We'd actually like you to play something when we come back. To yeah, court. absolutely. All right, Siobhan, Scott Page, Ken Rakowski. Yay. We're doing music mentoring right here on Business Rockstars. Scott, uh, yes, would you like to uh, present, or actually, would you like to introduce our artist who's actually going to perform for us? Yes, this is a wonderful <laughs> artist that we just met today, and I'm actually really, you're great. <laughs> you're just so cool because you've got such a great spirit and good heart. So that right there attracts you right away. I mean, seriously, oh, big when time. you meet an artist that just has that oh. that that feel. That's the ticket right there, man. That's So the key. when Siobhan's got that feel, you lean in. You, you go, do. ooh, I want to know more, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So whatever you're doing, it's going to get better because she's got the right feel. Yes. Right, Siobhan, can we hear something from you? Sorry? Can we hear something from you? Yes. The microphone Robert. is all yours. Go okay. for it. Okay. One, two. I step up in the place you look at me you never seen nobody with a body quite like me cause I'm the new girl on the scene cause I'm the new 
girl on the scene. I'm rocking from the top until the bottom. Yes, I'm clean. I look just like a model. You can all just look at me. Cause I'm the new girl on the scene. Cause I'm the new girl on the scene. So you better make a way. Make room for me. Because I'm here to stay. Make room for me. I'm only gonna stay. Make room for me. Cause I'm the new girl on the scene and you can see me rocking you can watch me do my thing and you can try to stop me but they ain't no stopping this and you can try to hate but they ain't no hating this because i'm the new girl on the scene yeah whoa you needed to walk around doing that didn't you? there is no way you could have sat down singing that song that's a powerful song. Can we find that on, on YouTube or yes, where can you we can. find that? You can find that on my website, SiobhanStoddard.com, where you can also download it and um, make a donation. Oh, wait, wait, donation. Let's talk about that. What yep. does that mean? That donation. So my uh, the Hot Girl song is a way that I can release my single to the world and that my fans can support me on my quest for gold in next year's Olympic Games. So this is money that's going to help you. You need to raise for you to go to. Yes. You don't get paid, so you got to make some yeah. money, yes. right? Siobhan, yes. you're your own cause, but see yeah. that, uh, Scott, that's different. I've, we have not had somebody here that was their own cause. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, your song and you, I didn't connect. <laughs> no, what, I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> nice, yeah. sweet. No, and then I saw that, I was like, I got to watch out. <laughs> there was two, there was like a personality that I had. Did you see that? Yep. Scott was like a different person. That's the gig, right? You gotta transform on the bandstand. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. How about brother Daryl over here? Hey Daryl, you know what Daryl on the guitar over there, you know what we're talking about too, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you change and transform when you start performing? Yes, you know, I feel like hot girl, I like oh, I like her. <laughs> it's like yeah. when you put your heels on, you feel like, ooh. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so, I noticed that you walked in. Mm -hmm. So you have a manager. Yes. Do you have an agent? No, I work with my manager. You work with your manager. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do, what else is around you when it comes to infrastructure? You know, um, my fa right now, you know, obviously my my manager, my coach, and you know, I have a small group of people that's just around me to support me, mainly because my focus is getting my gold at the Olympic Games, and you know, my manager managing my music, so. That's really the people that are always. I want to make sure I heard me. what you said. Did you yeah. say getting my gold? My gold in the next Olympics. No, G O L D. <laughs> yes. Your gold medal is what yeah. I love that. There's yeah. not even an option. Yeah. No option. Right? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Mr. Scott Page, go for some more so questions. So, let me here. ask a question. So, um, clearly, you've, you've got some you have success. You've been an Olympian and you have your social media and things like that. Now, who does that for you? Do you do that yourself or do you have other people? And how kind of how often do you post? Tell me what you're sort of. What you do in that right now? <laughs> well, yes, I have my social media. I have my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. You do and that? Yes, so I, I definitely like to interact with my fans. I'm posting every day, uh, mm -hmm. wherever I run and everything like that. And, you know, my manager, Tim, he, you know, helps me out with my, my mm -hmm. website to make sure that, you know, we stay connected with them through that as well. So, Scott, I'm mm -hmm. looking at a one, somebody that's, Got a great story. Yep. Sounds great, mm -hmm. right? I like, I love what I heard. Mm -hmm. Great story as in who you are, where you're going. Why shouldn't this raise a ton of money? Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I personally, I think you could just knock it out of the park right now. Right. With a crowdfunding would be just a really Have wonderful Have you done crowdfunding? Uh, no. Yeah. Is there a reason why you haven't? Um, you know, when I, I met my, my manager, uh, Tim Alexander, um, pretty recently, and we had a good relationship. So, you know, since meeting him, he has, you know, come, we've come together and really put everything together pretty much very fast, very, very quick. Fast. <laughs> and yeah. the, the song just got out on the, you know, on the internet like about a month ago. About so. a month ago. This is very new. <laughs> very Do you know new. what crowdfunding is? Um, I have a slight idea, but not. Tim, are you familiar with crowdfunding? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, it sounds like it should be part of. We're looking at Tim, the man, because, uh, manager. Because yeah. now, what's nice is you've got a. What is how long before the next one? A year? You have about a year. Yes. So you have a year, right? <laughs> it's a wonderful time. You've got this time to ramp things up and really grow something substantial. And again, you've got your own cause. <clears throat> yeah. You may think about how can I actually make my own cause be part of another cause too, so that I can help. You've got access to sponsors, different people. So there's a.
really have all the pieces that you need to really have a very successful crowdfunding campaign? I, I would feel really excited mm -hmm. to be a fan, to follow her as an artist, as an Olympiad also. Mm -hmm. So you have two things going at, for fans, right? Yes. To where I would expect your social fi following should be really strong. Yes. How are you doing on that? Do you feel like it should be stronger? I, I definitely feel I have definitely some great fans. They've been supporting me forever, and I've grown my fan base, you know, definitely tremendously since we've lost, um, had my website. and What's the website again? SiobhanStoddard.com. Okay. So, you know, um, so yeah, my fan base is building and, you know, just trying to do everything I can. To, Are you to membership? Reach. That's what I was wondering. Have you yeah. done any, have you monetized those fans at all yet or have a plan to monetize? I mean, I'm sure you have a plan to do that, but have you done that yet? Well, you know, my, my manager, Tim, he's putting it together. So <laughs> I got to ask him on all those. But I, I want to <laughs> make sure that yeah, I know Tim is your manager. Yes. But, you know, when you do have ideas, you yes. want to make sure you can move those forward, too. Yes. Uh, Scott Page, of course. Scott, your new company. Yep. Ignite Artists. Yep. Yeah. Ignite Artists. I'm very interested in talking to Tim about you because oh. I think you really have an extraordinary your story and things. So we'd love to do that. Because Be great. The story stories. I you sounded great, yes. but everybody sounds great. Yes. Okay, yes, and you yes. know that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, having a great story is what takes you to the next level. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and that's why a good Kickstarter, go go. You're actually probably more of an Indiegogo mm -hmm. individual. What this means is you talk about your story, you sing your song, and you allow people to contribute, say from five dollars to a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to your cause. Yes. Okay, and when you set a goal, let's just say it's a $10,000 goal. Yeah. It could be larger if you want. I just talked to somebody today who has a $100,000 goal. Yes. And they're part of your mission to achieve either your album or to pay for the expenses you need to get to the Olympics. Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. Scott? Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things I think you want to think about when you do this is you don't want to just go launch that campaign. You want to build your audience and get everybody anticipating that this campaign is going to come up. I would even think you might want to build up six months before and know that you're going to be doing this and letting people know this is coming on. Boom. There's also another opportunity that I think is is it because you are an artist and your story is great because I love the idea of following what you're doing. I can see you following what's going on with music. Love follow I mean, I would love to watch an Olympian and know what the heart, <laughs> you know, all those things would be. And so there's an opportunity with a with a different kind of a crowdfunding like Patreon. Yeah. Patreon is a monthly people buy a monthly subscription. So they say for a for a dollar you get this, for five dollars, for ten you get this, but you're delivering content basically on a on a weekly basis so there's a continuous thing with your story and the video and the olympics the challenge in the studio all those things it's a very very fascinating story to you know so think about this siobhan imagine people following you throughout your journey okay yes. and as they're following you you're allowing them to have a glimpse into what's going on so let's say every friday night you do a uh, a google hangout are you familiar mm -hmm. with that yes and you allow your people that are your members to watch you and talk to you. Yes. And they are paying to be part of that, maybe $5 a month or $10 a month. But this is a unique window for them to experience and ask you questions. Yes. And you set these up on a regular basis. You also have a website with a log and a password and have unique pictures there that they could see or words of advice that you have. I think, again, on the artist side and as the Olympia that you are, People would love, I would do that. I'm telling you. In a you, heartbeat, I would. You have a very uh, unique story. Yeah. I'm not sure if you, I, I know you probably do, but you're very unique right now. Mm -hmm. You have one year of this yeah. to really ride it out, right? Yeah, I think absolutely. there's a time and that, here. And I think the most important thing you can do now is really to build a strategy that builds, has a media calendar. And media calendars are basically, you're like, a, you're, listen, you're a broadcast network right now. You have, you have your own channel. Right, Siobhan Channel, right? Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is attract users of that channel, and then you're going to provide value to them, yeah. right? And that's what the opportunity is. She's saying right yes now. a lot because she's so unkind yeah. until she starts singing, and then she gets down, right? <laughs> do you understand what we're saying? Because I want you yeah. to really understand because it's yeah. super important. Because I think when, when we look at windows of opportunity, I call it epicenters of opportunity. You're an epicenter right now, and the clock is ticking. And because of that, you have to become extremely proactive to make things happen. You know what you have to do uh, for the Olympics 2016. Yes. As an artist, it, it might be all over the place. But there's so many tools that you need to make sure you focus on. Scott, let's say crowdfunding. 
Crowdfunding, definitely. Crowdsourcing, too. Crowdsourcing. What mm -hmm. else? Uh, different types of tools, like, you know, I don't know if you want to, you got to build your little social team. You know, there's tools like Hootsuite or Buffer, where you can actually put content in. Because remember, as an artist, you need to be putting content out all the time. How often, Scott? Well, you know, we were, even in your thing, every hour. You should have every something. Every hour, you need to be posting should be something. Going. Isn't okay. that crazy? Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> it, it is a lot, but, but you have to get down to that schedule. Yes. Yeah, but what here's the thing is you 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 can build up and put this into this media calendar. Scott, which will allow when we you come back, publish. we're going to dive deeper into the whole idea okay. of her fans. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at what your fans are, okay. and we're going to make sure your fans are exercising with you. Okay. Yes. That's okay, the Siobhan, key. When we come back, we'll find out more. Ken Rakowski, you're listening yes. to Business Rockstars. Ken Rakowski, Business Rockstar, starting, growing, and funding your passion, something real and sustainable. We're here to help you do that by bringing you rock stars, real rock stars from around the world that are doing it themselves. Mr. Sky Page, I am skypage.com. Also, his business is ignited.network, and it's all around the idea of taking artists to a whole new level by gamifying the art of artists. That's right. You remember, like artists that. have to think like businesses now. They have to. You have to. You're a startup business. So the new thinking, because you have all the power now, because you've got these little handheld devices, your fans are on there all the time, you can talk directly to them, and the beautiful part is you can take the order. <laughs> Remember, this is a business, right? Not it's Scott a sets up, Siobhan, very honored to have you here again. People mm -hmm. want to find Thank your you. website. What is it? It's SiobhanStoddart.com, S-H-E-V-O-N-S-T-O-D-A-R-T. There you go. Got it. Uh, Olympiad uh, 2016 Olympics. You've yes. competed twice already. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is your third Olympics. Yes. That's pretty mind blowing, isn't it? Yes. That's a daunting <laughs> task. I mean, just unbelievable. That's a that's a such a commitment. Started when you're yeah. 14. Uh, yes, when I was in high school. Yeah, I had to, right? Yes. You're like 21 right now. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah, right there. This is an, an important <laughs> opportunity, as as we've been talking about, where you have this one year of really, really pushing it to another level. Your training and your art. Are at the same time right now. There you are, right, Scott? Yep, absolutely. And actually, it's very interesting. I was actually, you notice we have Tim over here. Manager, hi, Tim. Hey, hey, how are you? We were talking, and he had a very interesting thing. What he's thinking about doing from a marketing point of view is it's flipping it. It's not the Olympian that's the musician, it's the musician who's an Olympian, which is an interesting way to think about. I think it's hard it. to do because she's been in Olympiad, at least visibly, for a longer period of time than being an artist. Here's the interesting thing. Hi, Tim. She, hi. She did her first Olympics in 2004. This would be her fourth. She was scheduled to go in 2012, but she got hurt. Wow. She never had a URL. She's never so, had a website. Never had a website. So when I met her, the first thing I did was I grabbed a URL and started building a site. And I'm, I just did version 1.0. It's, it's going to have a big 2.0 upgrade. And then it's going to be really robust. So I'm taking the time to make sure that we have a container to capture. The thing that you feel live, I've got to capture that and put it in a website so people will get it like that. Okay. And then we're going to start the big push, and all the, the things you said are right down the line we're doing. I want people to feel like they see Rihanna or a big superstar singer on the Olympic track okay. in 2016. A couple of things. First, you're much prettier than Rihanna. Number, number two is this. Remember, your manager gets paid based upon your performance. Yeah. Yes. So you have to kick his butt as often as you can <laughs> to make money because he doesn't make money unless you make money. Yeah. Right, Tim? Yes. Right? Which uh, is I, a, I, I concur. I agree. So you want to try <laughs> as many things out there as possible because yeah. it's called performance driven. That's where you're at now, right now. Yeah. And everything's performance driven. Some Scott said I love when he held up his phone. He says this is also a way to take money. Scott's right. You can have a square on here. You know what square is, Scott? Yep. Yeah. It's a credit yeah. card thing. You should carry one with you everywhere you go because maybe there's five people in this room how many how many of us should buy your your latest cd everyone exactly and you want to take credit card exchanges right now yeah you want to do whatever make might make you feel uncomfortable yeah take advantage of the opportunity that's a great idea somebody <laughs> may just want to give her money i really like it. hey want to give yeah. me some money here take yeah. swipe your card hey. and give me 100 bucks scott <laughs> I'm, absolutely, I'm telling yeah. you be absolutely. shameless yeah. she's got to be shameless right yeah. well you have to please listen, tell her that because she's i try modest. to i try to tell i try to tell everybody <laughs> artists because remember your goal is just to build your fan base and we were talking with tim and we always talk about this and i know i might sound like a broken record the concept of this thousand true fan idea the idea there is a true fan, somebody to spend $100 a year. So think about it. Uh, in your thing, you want to generate that first thousand fans will generate $100,000 for you. 
10,000 minutes. Think about the dollars that you can generate by a small group of people. I always tell artists that how do you make it take advantage of everything you do or te increase the, uh, the, uh, the, the ability that you can make things happen in every opportunity. So even like you go into the market, do you walk, look around and look at the people that are actually running the, the cash registers and building those relationships? Because those people can be fans too that you can start to grow your You're base with. Yeah. You just gave me yeah. an idea. What's that? Uh, we need to create a campaign where we say, I'm, you know, blah, 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 everybody knows what you're trying to do. I need to find out how many people I can get to commit to giving me $100 this year. <laughs> no, well, be careful of that. Be careful of, of that. that be that's, careful that, of that, okay. Yeah, you, first, you don't want to identify a certain number right yeah, there. Okay, you want not people a to number. contribute. You know, Radiohead is a great example, mm -hmm. right, Scott? What did Radiohead do? Well, they put their record out and it was, they said, it's free or pay me what you can. Mm -hmm. And actually, we did this with one of the artists. Uh, that's been with us because she had her thing. She was trying to sell 99 downloads. I said, take it off. Give it away for free. She's making more money now because there's certain fans will come in and say, here's 500 yeah. bucks. I want to help your don't, cause. Yeah, don't place okay. a number. Allow someone to cars. And it could be a dollar. Which could is be why right. Bandcamp is right. 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 And, you, yeah. want, yeah. and right. you want this whole you know, personality of loving and accomplishing and reaching dreams and goals. And you want that to exude from what she's doing, right? There's a great story here. I like to see uh, videos of Siobhan talking yeah, about same thing, same where she's from, what it took to get where she's at. I mean, those are very powerful along and with her music. So Scott, you said you're interested in, in, in Siobhan and what you're doing with her. Oh, I would love Why? to have her in Ignite. Well, because I can, she, everything we do now, I believe is based on story. Storytellers and people that have great stories will win. She has everything that, I think is there. First of all, she has the personality and the vibe because instantly when you see her, not that you're, you're beautiful, but there's a vibe that comes across, which is really you critical. You mentioned that earlier, right? Right. And the fact that I think that she'd be really good to go through this thing, and I, I would love to have you. And I'm going to talk to Tim about it, and we'd love Thank to see you. if we can get her. And if we want to find out more, Siobhan, where do we go? SiobhanStoddard.com. That's where you go. New yes. singles up there right now, and you have a bunch of new songs that'll be coming out. As yes. Tim said, this is 1.0, 2.0 is coming out soon. Yeah. When it comes to the website, Scott, people want to hunt you down. Where do they go? I am ScottPage.com or Ignited.network. Ignited.network. That's it. No.com. And we'll and then, be able to see things happen on the website. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yep. Now you're bringing more and more people in every week. Yeah, what's well, well, great? We love having the team. Yeah. You know, it's actually fun to have an audience. I love an audience. Yeah. And I like to also say our production team rocks. That's uh, Rolo, Charlie, and Nick, and Benjamin. We've got a whole bunch of people here, and Brittany and Bridget, for making the show happen. <laughs> Anytime you want to start, you come right over to us, right here at Business Rockstars. I'm Ken Rakowski. Thanks a lot for listening.